bit by bit by itty bitty bit, a little at a time. Bit by bit by itty bitty bit, a little at a time. Hi kids. My name's Anita Dare. I'm not a musician. I'm an author. Mostly I write books for older kids, but I have this book that I've written for your age group, and I'd like to read it to you. It's called Itty Bitty Bits, and it's about a little girl who has a huge job to do, so big she doesn't know how she's going to get it done. So let's just get right into it, should we? Itty Bitty Bits by Anita Dare. That's me. I'm the author. The illustrations, that's the person who makes the pictures, are by Wendy Bailey. Let's meet Molly. Not fair! I want Yen to come for a sleepover. So that's Molly. Does she look happy? Does she look mad? But mom says, no way, Molly, not until I clean my room. And there's her room. Does that look, does that look like it's going to be easy to tidy up? Has your room ever been that messy? No, of course not. Well, mine has, and I know it can be a very big job. And Molly says, it's impossible. I can't do it by myself. But who can I get to help? Of course. I whoosh through the house, cross the checkered kitchen floor, and bump down the steps to the workshop. And there she finds her sister. Brittany, can you help? I want Yen to come for a sleepover, but Mom says, no way, not until my room is clean. And here's... Brittany, does she look like she might be busy? I think maybe, huh? She says, Sorry, Molly, can't help now. This model has so many pieces. I'll never get it done. Mm. Thanks anyway, Molly says. Who can I get to help? Hmm. I race up the steps, cross the checkered kitchen floor, climb the carpet-covered stairs to the attic. And who do you think she's going to find there? Hmm? It's her brother. She says, Ryan, can you help? I want Yen to come for a sleepover, but Mom says, no way, not until my room is clean. And Ryan says, sorry, Molly, can't help now. I've got so much homework. I'll never get it done. How old do you think you have to be to have that much homework? Grade three? Grade six? Grade 153? I don't know, but it's a lot. So Molly says, Hmm, who can I get to help? Hmm, of course. Who do you think she's going to get to help? Let's find out. I dart down the stairs, cross the checkered kitchen floor, and duck through the door to the garden where she finds her daddy. Where I find Daddy picking pea pods and popping them in a pot. Hello, Daddy. Are you busy? Yes, indeed. My peas are at the peak of perfection and must be picked today. Hmm. Then she finds her dog, Indiana Bones. How about you, Indiana Bones? Can you help me sort my stuff? And Indiana Bone says, woof. What do you think that means? 
Hmm. Oh, poor dog. Did you forget where you buried your toy? She knows her dog well. So here we've got a beautiful picture of sunflowers. <sighs> sunflowers sigh and crickets chirp, tisk tisk, as I slow walk to my think spot in the field. Don't cry, weepy willow. I'm sad enough for us both. No one to help means no sleepover. <gasps> Do you see who's down here in the corner? Can you see who that might be? What is that little creature? It's an ant. Mm. And Molly says, hello, little ant. What a treasure you found. But it's much too big for you. See what she's got there? The little ant found a sandwich. But to an ant, a sandwich is as big as a house. How can it move that big old sandwich? And she watches. She watches as he takes a little piece of it away. <gasps> Good job! A small bit of something is better than a giant chunk of nothing. And she watches as she takes that sandwich away and down into his home bitty bit by itty bitty bit. Now this is an ant with a plan. You can do it. Yes, you can. He did it. Itty bitty bit by itty bitty bit. Wish I had a plan. And then the sun gives a wink and the wind goes nudge nudge and the little ant gives me a wave, wave. That's it. Like I'm fired up with rockets, I fly to my yard. Indiana Bones, you can find your toy. Just make like an ant and get the job done. Itty bitty bit by itty bitty bit. And Indiana Bones says, woof. What do you think that means? I think maybe he says, yeah! I dash through the door, up the stairs to the attic, where she finds her brother. Ryan, you can finish your homework. Just make like an ant and get the job done, itty bitty bit by itty bitty bit. Does Ryan look happy? He's going, yeah! Yeah, I think he looks happy. I slide across the floor, down the steps to the workshop where she finds her sister. Brittany, you can put your model together. Just make like an ant and get the job done. Itty bitty bit by itty bitty bit. Like an ant with a plan, I zoom through the house. Zoom. <laughs> I love this picture. Zoom, 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 zoom. There she goes. All the way to my messy bedroom. Look at her go. She's piling up the pictures and putting away her toys and sweeping and having some fun, making it look like a dance. Sweep, sweep, wee. Sweep, sweep, wee. That's the best way to sweep. And do you think she gets the job done? Do you remember what she gets to have happen if she gets the job done? Do you think that Yen gets to come for a sleepover? Let's find out. That night, as the sun dips beyond the field and the sunflowers bow beneath the moon, Mom brings Yen and me a big bowl of hot buttered. What is it? Hot buttered what? What do you think it's going to be? Pea pods! <laughs> and we eat them all up. Itty bitty bit by itty bitty bit. Just remember, when you have a big job to do, you can get it done. How? Bit by bit.
bit by itty bitty bit, a little at a time. Bit by bit by itty bitty bit, a little 